Hai hai semuanya, gue Zeno hari ini gue pengen ngelarin mainin game This Bad We Made Ya, seperti yang gue udah ceritakan di awal, di part 1 Gue ini mainin gamenya udah sampai kelar Tapi abis itu gue putusin untuk bagi beberapa part Ya, biar lebih enak juga Terus juga gue ngerjain subtitle-nya juga lebih enak Ya, soalnya kalau misalkan langsung dibikin panjang kayaknya gue stres juga ya Jadi mendingan ngeditnya tuh enakan dikit-dikit Kalau gue tipe orangnya kayak gitu Ya, kita bakalan turun ke bawah Ya udah kita langsung masuk aja ke gamenya ya Yuk Udahlah. Hmm. Loh, kok pintunya nggak kebuka? Halo. Tolong. Gua kejebak di lift. <laughs> Serius ini gua kejebak di lift. Oh. Oh enggak, nembus. Aduh. Masih ada beberapa bug sih. Oh, uh, kaget. <laughs> Oke, okay, ternyata tadi baru dibuka ya. Uh, gue coba keliling dulu sih sebelum telepon. Anybody down here? Masa semua orang udah langsung pada keluar sih? Gila juga ya. Oh, candle-nya di sini. <laughs> Hehehe. Maaf ya. Ingetan gua. Gua kira gua lihatnya di break room. Oke, okay, toilet juga masih ketutup. Gak ada siapa-siapa loh. Andrew, where is everyone? Gile, masa langsung hilang gitu semua sih? Lima kosong empat siapa sih? Wellington, namanya di sini Wellington ya. Kalau tadi kan si siapa tuh? Samuel William kan? Hmm. Oke, okay, kita telepon aja. Oh. Service Station 22. There's a, there's a man dead. He's been murdered. I, I need the police. Please stay calm, ma'am. Where are you right now? The lobby, but the body, it's, it's upstairs. Can you give me the address, please? Oh, um, 11, 1178 hmm. Drummond Street. All right, ma'am. Officers are on their way. Thank you. Ya, ya panik sih gue tahu sih, cuma kesannya kayak gimana gitu loh. Oke, gue bisa ngecek ngecek Clarington. Apa nih? So Anne and Marcella really are planning to run off together. Oh, ini tiketnya. Was what happened to Hector part of their plan? Loh, ini tiketnya kok di sini? Mereka ke mana? Marcella. Is this the brochure Andrew was talking about? The one that came in the mail for Anne? California. Oke. Okay. Apa nih? Ride the road to romance. The West Coast. That's about as far from Montreal as you can get without crossing an ocean. Oke, okay, cuma itu doang. Hmm. Gak bisa dicek. 
Nggak bisa. Ini apa nih? Why does the VIP want to meet with Paul? Hmm. Maybe he fell for his role playing and wants to hire him as a private investigator. Oke. Okay. Bernard really wants Paul out of the hotel. I can see how this could make Paul look bad. But it's obvious Bernard cares more about the hotel's reputation than the guest's well-being. Udah semua ya. Hey, you're here. I've tried restoring the power, but I think Eugene's the only one with the key to the fuse box, and I... Sophie? Don't worry. I'll find a way to bring the lights back on. Hey, you look a bit pale. Is everything okay? I found Mr. Cruz. Hector. He's back? Uh, how's he taking that whole thing with his wife? You don't understand. I found his body. He's... he's dead, Andrew. Jesus. Uh, maybe you need... you need to sit down, huh? Did you call the police? Yeah, they're... they're on their way. What happened? Was he sick or something? No, I don't think so. Someone did this to him. You mean... Jesus. <laughs> Do you think it could be Paul? <laughs> Gua, kalau kalau baca subtitle-nya itu artinya jadi berbeda ya dibanding kalau lu dengar percakapannya ya. <laughs> Do you think it could be Paul? Kayak enggak deh. Menurut gue bukan sih. What about Anne and Marcella? Their affair is a pretty good motive. I also found a letter from one of Hector's customers. He seemed really angry. I guess it could be him as well. Hmm. The police will want to ask you a lot of questions. You may want to be careful about what you tell them. With Paul's history of mental illness, there's a good chance they'll suspect him even if he didn't do it. What are you saying? What I mean is uh, that spending some time in a psychiatric hospital doesn't make you a murderous psychopath. But for some reason, that's what everyone seems to think. Mm. The police especially. Mm. Yeah, I hadn't thought of that. You know how I said I studied to become a priest, but never took my orders? That's because I... I felt so lost. I couldn't enjoy the things I used to like. I could barely get myself out of bed. So I ended up going to a psychiatric hospital. And the doctors, they helped me get back on my feet. But when I returned to my hometown, it was like I had become a complete stranger. My mother kept telling me I was making it worse in my head, but I swear, people were changing sidewalks when they saw me looking at me as if as if i was this dangerous creature all of a sudden that's why i didn't tell you that what call it coincidence or fate but that oh. psychiatric hospital 
It's the same one Paul went to. I've met him there. Oh. Talk to him a bit. I'm sorry I didn't say anything before. It's oh, Risa. okay. I get why you didn't. You do? Hmm, inilah kita berusaha jujur soalnya kan dia juga udah jujur ya. You know how I tell everyone that my mom's sick, bedridden. Well, it's true, but I always leave out the part about her illness not being physical. I'm ashamed of the truth. So even though I don't know exactly what you went through, I I can understand. Thank you for telling me. I know it's not an easy thing to talk about, but if you ever want to talk about your mom, I'm here. Hmm. They're here. Okay. Ini dia balik lagi ke semula. Me you'll be careful with the information you share. Hmm? Yeah. Yeah. Miss Roy? Miss Roy? Miss Roy? Oh, oh lagi. sorry. I was distracted. I really need you to focus right now. I don't want to be here all night, and I'm sure you don't either. No. No, I don't. So, as I was saying, we're trying to ascertain the circumstances of Mr. Cruz's death. Can you tell me how you came to find the body? I... I was cleaning room 509 when I heard the elevator bell ring again and again and again. I thought maybe a child was playing with the doors, so I went out in the corridor and that's when that's when I saw him. All the blood and why was the elevator bell ringing? I'm sorry. You said you heard the elevator bell ring. Why was it ringing? I assume it wasn't a child after all. Aduh. Oke, okay, kayaknya sih gue milih jujur aja ya. Well, Mr. Cruz's body was preventing the doors from closing. Really? When we found the body, it wasn't that close to the doors. Ah. Oh, um, the stairs are blocked because of the renovations, so the elevator's the only way out of the fifth floor. Aduh. I, I had no choice but to move the body, just a little. Ah. So that explains the traces we found. Thank oh. you for clearing that up. Oh, okay. So, what did you do after that? Well, um, that's when the power cut. So I had to go to the janitor's closet. To access the fuse box. Ah. Exactly. Hmm. I, I changed a few fuses and turned the power back on. But there's a lock on that box, isn't there? Did you have the key? Aduh, ini juga jujur sih nggak bisa bohong kayak ya. No, I didn't. Only Eugene does. But I thought an ice pick might do the trick, so I went to the ice machine to get one. Hmm. You're a size 7, I suppose. Um. Ah. Uh, yes, I am. Kayak gue tahu river kemana tuh. What did you see when you went to the ice machine? There was blood. A lot of it. Did you touch anything? Aduh, jujur lagi dah. Jujur. Uh, jujur nggak ya? Soalnya ada jejak sepatu gua di situ. I might jujur. have touched a few things just to figure out what had happened to Mr. Cruz. Of course you did. Why so many witnesses can't help but compromise the evidence is just beyond me. <sighs> anyway, What did you do after restoring the power? I took the elevator down to the lobby. That's where I called the police. Do you remember what you said to the operator? The exact words? I... No. I'm afraid I don't. You said there's a man dead. He's been murdered. Oh, no. That's possible. What makes you so sure it was murder? Uh... Ya, 
ini 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 aduh gue pengen ini sih aduh ini cuma per- ini permainan pertama dan terakhir gue di record ya <laughs> ini aja deh well, I know about Mr. Cruz's angry customer the one who sent him death threats Oh, yes, we found those. But the customer in question lives back in Texas, so there's no way he could have killed Mr. Cruz. Actually, I think he may be staying at the hotel. Have you encountered him? No, no. In room 504, there's a guest who seems to be traveling alone. Yet, he has these three teddy bears in his room. Mr. Cruz's customer lost his three children in a fire, and these bears oh. are slightly burnt. So... Hmm... An interesting deduction. I'll look into that. But how do you even know about the death threats? Oh, kayaknya gue salah paham deh. Ah, uh, kayaknya gue salah paham deh. Ternyata Mr. Cruz sama si 504 si SW itu nggak ada hubungan apapun. Oke, okay? ternyata tidak ada hubungan apapun. Sepertinya ya. Oke, okay, gara-gara ini ada hubungan si Anne sama si Marcella, gue jadi ngira si Hector juga ada hubungan sama si SW. Uh, kayak bohong deh gue. Soalnya Mr. Cruz juga udah mati kan? Eh, mulut <laughs> udah meninggal. Ini Mr. Cruz told me the other day. Was he in the habit of talking about his personal life with hotel mates? Um, I really can't say what his habits were, but he He seemed to like me. Hmm. Then maybe you'll be able to answer one or two of my questions. I'll do okay. my best. We've learned from one of your colleagues that the victim had a fight with a guest named Mr. Spade. Hmm? What can you tell me about him? Hmm. I don't know anything. Gua enggak tahu apa-apa. I I don't really know anything about him. He seems nice though. Nice? I wouldn't be so sure. Oh? We found out that Mr. Spade is fresh out of a madhouse. When we called the place, they painted quite the picture of him. Oh. Did you ever see him display odd behavior in or around the hotel? No. I mean, we've all got our little quirks, don't we? Did he seem obsessed with Mrs. Cruz? A little, maybe, but... Obsessed enough to kill her husband? No. Nothing like that. We all have our obsessions. Me, for instance. I'm obsessed with celebrities and gossip magazines and- You don't seem to understand, Miss Roy. Mr. Spade is not like you and me. He may look like us, but he's not. He's dangerous and needs to be taken off the streets. Oh. So tell me, did you ever see him be violent or aggressive? Gassy. No, I didn't. I'm sorry I can't be of more help. No, I'm sure you are. But we're not quite done yet, Miss Roy. The victim's wife, Marcella Cruz. Apparently she left in quite a hurry this morning. Hmm. What can you tell me about her? Uh... Aduh. Aduh, ini... Uh... Ah, apa ya? Ini ini aja deh. I don't know much. Only that she looks like a loving, caring wife. Really? That's odd because we learned a lot about Mrs. Cruz when we went through her room. And let's just say that loving, caring wife are not the first words that would come to mind. Oh, y- yes, she's see. a lesbian. Involved in some sordid affair with the guest from room 507, Mrs. Beaumont. Have you ever witnessed them engaging in immoral behavior? What do you mean? I'm asking if you've seen them being, you know, intimate. No, I haven't. No. And did you hear them discuss their deviant ways in front of Mrs. Beaumont's son, perhaps? Imagine. What kind of effect such perversion can have on a young child? No, I didn't hear anything. Did you hear them express their hatred of men? Did they ever talk about using violence against men? Did you hear them speak ill oh, of Mr. Cruz? Uh, 
deny juga. No, I didn't hear any of that. <sighs> All right then. Can I leave now? Yes, yes you can. Thank you for your cooperation, Miss Roy. We'll be in touch if we have any more questions. Gue yakin pembunuhnya sih 504 sih. Bukan Paul ataupun bukan si pasangan itu. Oke, okay, kita balik lagi ke hotel. Bernard was strangely chipper on the phone. That can't be a good sign. I guess we'll know soon enough. Oke, okay, ini lagi pada dibersihin ya. Gua keliling-keliling dulu sih. Oh, ada polis lain segala. It'll probably be a while before the hotel reopens. Oh, bisa. The atmosphere is so different in here. Will it oh. ever feel like it used to? Oke, okay, sini yang nggak bisa ya. Sip, berarti kita ke belakang. <laughs> isang, isang. Oh, sini bisa. Toilet. Oh, toilet bisa. Coba. Nggak ada suara apapun sih. Oh. Bisa pakai elevator. Nanti nanti nanti. I'll go empty my locker. Andrew. Hey. Are you okay? Um, I've I've just been fired. Hmm? What? No. I... It's okay. I just need some time to process it. I'll be on the mezzanine if you want to join me afterwards. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Kenapa dipecat dia? Gue juga dipecat kah? Ah, Miss Roy. Come in. I suppose you know why you're here? Hmm. Ini. I would guess it has something to do with the murder. Well, you'd be right about that. We've been getting a lot of press lately, and not the good kind. I wouldn't expect you to understand the position I'm in, but I assure you, it's quite uncomfortable to have one's life's work blown away like that. All thanks to some sexual deviance and a nut job. <laughs> it's obvious to me now that I haven't been firm enough. For guests of such morals to be comfortable booking a few nights here and, and, and committing such a horrid act? <sighs> no, things need to change. This means elevating our standards to the highest possible level and it starts with the people working here it starts with you with me yes from what i've heard you've been quite the exemplary maid lately clean rooms satisfied guests i take my job very seriously sir as you should we'll see for the future but for now you'll be allowed to continue working here mm -hmm. thank you i'm not done The police have finished their investigation and left a mess on the fifth floor. I want you to clean it up. Why you want me to go back there? Yes. Why not? I found a dead body on that floor. I, I'm not going back. I'll make this simple for you. If you don't do it, you're fired. <sighs> Aduh. Kita mah kaum bawah ya, jadi nurut aja lah. Oke, okay. I'll take care of it. Good. Well, what are you waiting for? Get to work. Oh, now? Yes, now. That'll be all. Berapa hari setelah ini? Oke. Okay. 
Oke okay. Masih cutscene Hey. What a week. You don't say. So what did Bernard want with you? He wants me to clean the mess on the fifth floor. He does? After everything you've been through up there? Oh, I can't believe it. Yeah. I wish I would have stood up to him, but I really need this job. It's okay. I know you do. Did Bernard say why he was firing you? Well, I told him about my time at the psychiatric mm. hospital. Really? Yeah. He said that that didn't fit with the hotel standards and showed me the door. Mm. Ida? Well, I'm not one bit worried about you. I know you'll be just fine. Yeah. Hopefully I will be. Think of all the good times you'll have away from Bernard. <laughs> it's funny you should say that, because I was actually thinking I'd like being my own boss. <laughs> I've had this dream for a while of oh, maybe jok, jok, jok. opening a bookstore. <laughs> I can't say I'm surprised. It just makes so much sense. I'd be able to combine the two things I love most, reading books and helping people. Granted, <sighs> helping people find books is a far cry from helping them find God. <laughs> but my mom likes to say there's no job too small. Plus, just by the way you're talking about it, it's obvious that it'd make you happy. And that's what really matters, I think. Yeah. You're right. Thank you. I'm really glad I have you in my life. Me too. Oh, aggressive sekali ini. Uh, ini aja deh. Can I um, kiss me? Yes. <laughs> Please do. Uh oh. That was. Yeah. It was. <laughs> nah, baru nanya nih. apa ya apa ya apa ya apa ya apa ya mudah-mudahan bisa tanya dua-duanya gue pengen tanya ini dulu What do you think will happen to them? Who? Sorry, my mind wanders sometimes. I meant Paul, Anne, and Marcella. Do you think they'll be released? Hmm. What do you think? I don't know. I wish they'd get a happy ending, but I'm not sure it's that kind of story. I'd like to believe it is. I think Paul becomes a famed photographer. He gets his own studio and decorates it like a hotel bathroom. As for <laughs> Anne and Marcella, they move in together. But they keep leaving each other notes in the vents. You know, for old time's sake. I like it. Maybe you should write that. Hmm. Maybe I will. <laughs> <laughs> Udahan nih. Ya gue kira gue bisa naik ke lantai 5 lagi. Tau gitu tadi gue cek dulu ya. Uh, itunya. Oke. Okay. Ini si itu. Si Paul. Oh no. Oh no, mereka malah ditahan. VIP only. Ya. 
Gue masih bekerja Oh Oke okay. Toko buku udah jadi ternyata Oke okay, itu dia untuk permainan gue di game This Bad We Made Wah gila sih ceritanya bener-bener mantep Plot twist dimana-mana banyak banget petunjuk-petunjuk yang bikin kita kejebak ya Dan gue yakin sih, gue yakin banget kalau penjahatnya tuh si 504 alias inisial SW Jadi menurut gue sih ini gue dapat bad ending ya Soalnya yang ketangkep malah kayaknya sih bukan penjahat ya Soalnya si Paul emang bukan penjahat Terus si pasangan itu, pasangan N sama Marcella Dia juga... Gak mungkin gitu loh Jadi sih Menurut gue si 504 ini Dia gak bunuh gara-gara Soal Itu nyalah Hutangnya itu Yang Kan si Hector ini kan Dia agent asuransinya Si SW ini Jadi emang ada hubungannya Sama kasus itu Jadi bukan karena Soal percintaan Lagi-lagi gue Salah paham di situ Ya Gila sih ini penulisan game ini bagus banget menurut gue Ceritanya bener-bener rapi Kalau seandainya aja gue gak dapet satu clue di beberapa bagian Itu mungkin aja gue bisa bilang penjahatnya itu si Paul Dan juga mungkin aja penjahatnya itu si pasangan tersebut Bisa jadi Dan karena gue udah ngumpulin semua bukti-buktinya Gue udah pahamin ceritanya Gue yakin 504 yang salah Dan kayaknya sih gue tahu cara untuk menyelamatkan mereka semua Tapi untuk impresi akhir gue uh, Game ini Bener-bener harus, harus, harus kalian mainin sih. Apalagi kalau dari segi cerita udah luar biasa banget ini. Terus ini game indie loh. Gue gak tahu ya se-indie apa ya. Soalnya timnya lumayan gede kayaknya. Tapi gue bakalan nungguin karya-karya dia selanjutnya sih. Kalau dia bakalan keluarin game-game misteri kayak gini. Awal-awal tuh gue kira ini bakalan ada hubungannya sama horor gitu kan. Apalagi juga pas awal si Paul juga bawa-bawa soal ngedenger langkah kaki di tengah-tengah malam. Ya gue pikir ini bakalan ke arah horor. Dan ternyata enggak sama sekali. Ini lebih ke misteri dan perdetektifan dimana kita harus ngumpulin clue dan menghubungin semuanya itu benar-benar permainan yang gue suka banget terus juga ada gimmick-gimmick yang kayak kita ngebersihin kotoran terus mainin obeng dan sebagainya itu sih enak ya secara mekaniknya gak tau ya satisfying aja musik-musiknya juga dibikin dengan baik semuanya tuh ngegambarin kalau ini emang benar-benar game misteri pokoknya Mantep deh ini game. Gue mungkin kasih rate aja kali ya langsung. Gue kasih 9 ini sih. 9 per 10. Gue sesuka itu. Dari pengisi suaranya juga oke okay banget. Gue suka. Mereka bisa memerankan karakternya dengan baik. Terus acting-acting mereka tuh rapih gitu loh di sini. Jadi bener-bener nyatu banget sama ceritanya. Kita bisa ngerasain semua yang ditunjukin di scene tersebut gitu. Terus juga detail-detail kecil kayak kita ngegerakin barang waktu lagi inspek itu ada bunyi-bunyinya kalau digerakin. Terus juga ada gravitasinya kalau diapain jatuh juga. Itu detail-detail kecil yang gua kasih apresiasi lebih sih dan juga ada suara-suara lampu suara-suara noise yang ada gitu dibikin dengan rapi terus juga kalau ada suara dari sebelah pokoknya yang bagian sound-sound ini sih rapi-rapi semua sih gue demen banget cuman mungkin satu kelemahannya ini ya ini sekalian yang jelek-jeleknya juga animasi mulutnya sama suaranya itu kayak nggak nyatu gue nggak tahu apakah animasi mulutnya itu karena mereka ngomong bahasa Perancis aslinya karena gue gak pakai dubbing itu, gue pakainya dubbing Inggris, makanya kelihatannya gak nyatu, atau memang dibikin animasi mulutnya sesimpel itu aja. Ada sih beberapa animasi yang kelihatannya pas, cuman ya sedikit jauh lebih banyak yang gak cocoknya. Selain itu, di game ini masih ada beberapa bug, dan kalian bisa lihat bugnya ini waktu gue lagi main kan ya. Jadi yang pertama itu puzzle-nya nyangkut, yang kedua itu lift-nya ketutup, padahal dia aslinya kebuka, jadi kita bisa nembus gitu ya. Baknya masih minor, masih bisa diabaikan. Soalnya uh, kalau yang ngebak yang puzzle itu kebetulan dia bisa otomatis save beberapa detik sebelum masuk ke situ. Jadi gue beruntung banget. Soalnya males banget kalau misalkan ternyata auto save-nya nggak bekerja dan gue harus ngulang dari awal itu males banget. Atau nggak ngulangnya terlalu jauh itu males banget. Ya, nggak ada masalah. Menurut gue game ini tetap nilainya 9 aja. Gue suka itu sama game ini. Nyesel gue baru tahu sekarang. Mungkin game ini kurang promosi kali ya. Dan gue akan nunggu-nunggu sih game-game yang tipe-tipe kayak gini terlebih lagi dari publisher ya sama developer ya si Lobert game mudah-mudahan dia bisa ngeluarin game-game misteri lagi yang jauh lebih bagus dan ada perkembangan 
gameplaynya dari gamenya yang ini mudah-mudahan perkembangannya jauh lebih banyak jauh lebih baik gue main game ini sekitar 5 jaman lah 5-6 jam lah dan menurut gue untuk harga segitu harga di 160an itu worth banget untuk dibeli ini pas banget harga ya ya 200 juga masih oke okay lah karena ini gue belinya di waktu winter sale holiday sale makanya bisa dapat lebih murah dan ini bener-bener patut harus dimainin dan nggak tahu apakah gue akan memainkannya untuk mendapatkan good ending kita lihat aja nanti Kalau misalkan gue emang niat, bakalan ada video selanjutnya berarti. Overall segitu dulu, sayang banget sih gue telat tahu ini game. Ya out of nowhere aja, tiba-tiba game ini muncul di page gue gitu, waktu gue lagi nyari-nyari diskon. Loh kok ini karakternya kayak menarik perhatian banget gitu. Salah satu pembelian yang gue tidak sesali lah di tahun 2023. selama diskon akhir tahunnya ya pokoknya thank you banget yang udah nontonin video ini dari awal sampai akhir ini terus mohon maaf kalau misalkan ada salah-salah terjemahan bisa kalian koreksi juga terus juga kalau misalkan ada kesalahan karena gua sotoy ini tuh maaf banget yang pasti ketemu lagi di game-game selanjutnya yang seru juga kayak gini jangan lupa like, comment, share, dan subscribe terus juga follow akun sosmed gua gua Zeno bye-bye